holiday salad. I call it the Christmas escarole salad. It's a great salad. It looks great. It has all the spirit, but there's some things you got to be careful of. First of all, press and move that video in here. You see this escarole? Escarole is very sandy, okay? Sand is nice when you're going to the beach. On Christmas Eve, sand is not good. So you got to make sure you clean this. And what we like to do is we pull off some of those outer leaves, the ones that have a little, you know, that don't look so great, don't look so fresh. And we pull those off, and then what I would do is take a knife, hold the escarole together, and cut the bottom off. Cut the bottom off, a little bit of the bottom. Then I turn it around, and I cut just the tips of the leaves off, and I clean it up. Then I would take all this escarole and individually wash each leaf, because we got to get the sand out of it. Once the sand is out, we're ready to go. We have all our, our other ingredients ready and we're going to make a great salad for you today. Okay, we've cleaned the escarole. Now look, I, take, I took all the leaves apart. I cleaned every leaf. You'll see there's still a little water on those. What you want to do is take a little piece of paper towel, wrap your escarole up in that paper towel, and get all that extra water off. Why? It dilutes the dressing. You're going to have a watery dressing. You're not going to get the right flavor component here. So you want to make sure that escarole is nice and dry using a nice piece of uh, paper towel. Pat it down if you need to use two. Keep your table nice and clean. We're ready to go here. There's our escarole. Once we have the escarole in this form right here, we take the escarole and we chop it into nice pieces. They're pieces ready to eat. So you would take this and you would chop it with a knife. If I could show you that real quick, we would take a little bit of this. I like to line it up. We line it up and we just Hear the crunch. That's nice, crunchy, fresh escarole. There you go. If you got some big pieces, we make sure everything's cut. Okay. With escarole, you want to use the green, light green and dark green, all of them, because they have a nice flavor component. Plus the hearts, the whiter part is nice and crispy. Okay. It might seem a little loud in here, but we're in a kitchen. We have a lot of people working. They gave me a little space to work in today. So if you hear outside noise, everybody's working here. This is a working kitchen. Red onion, main ingredient, that's what they look like. Big one, small one, whatever one you like. I cleaned up one, I have a half a red onion, and we want to julienne it. What does julienne mean? We want it nice and nice and thin. We don't want it to overpower the escarole. You want to julienne that nice and thin. That last piece I get rid of so I don't cut my fingers off. Bingo. When we're all done, that's what our onion looks like. Julianne, this is what we're going to use in our salad. Perfect stuff. Let's take a look at the other ingredients. I have dried cherries. You can't get dried cherries. Dried cranberries are fine. We have salt, pepper, olive oil, vinegar, provolone cheese. I'm using a candied walnut, regular walnuts, fine. Apple or pear, that's the finishing touch. If you can't find an apple that's nice and crunchy, nice and red, use a red pear. You can use a green pear. Now remember, Christmas salad, green, red, green, red, the Christmas colors, okay? We want to keep that in mind because food has to look good. The first thing you notice about food when it comes out to the table is how it looks. Then the smell, then the taste, okay? Here we go. Let's put this together. Okay, so we're starting with our escarole right here. We're going to add a little bit of this julienne onion. What's a little? All up to your own personal preference. Okay, some people like more onion than others. I don't know the guests you're having to Christmas, so that's really up to you. So here, take a look at what I did. That's how much onion I'm putting in my salad. This salad will make enough for four people. Okay, then I'm going to take some, red, some dry cranberries. Okay, I like the way these taste. Okay. So we, <clears throat> we get the sweetness of the cranberry, the bitterness of the escarole, that pungent uh, taste of the uh, onions. Awesome. Then look at these babies. These are caramelized walnuts. So I break a couple of those up in there. Okay. You want to talk about good stuff right here. Now, if you don't have caramelized walnut, you can get a candied nut. You can use... Uh, an almond, you can use walnut, you can use a pinoli. Uh, 
whatever you like. Uh, I like these because they add a little touch of sweetness when I add the vinegar. Uh, next, I add a little bit of salt. Again, personal preference. Grind, always grind fresh black pepper. Olive oil first. Olive oil first coats, coats the lettuce. We're using a nice extra virgin olive oil, red wine vinegar, a good red wine vinegar, a little splash, don't go crazy with the vinegar. We're, toss this salad nice, and then the chef always has to taste the salad, make sure. A little more salt, dab more vinegar. I think we're ready to go here. Okay, so now you have your mixed salad. Now we're going to finish this up and you're going to see why I call it the Christmas salad. Here we go. We're going to plate this. I'm plating it on two plates. One for an individual serving or a plate if you want to do it for the whole family or a group. The plate, you can decide on the size. Here we go. So I have two plates here. I'm going to take a little bit of the salad mix in the center of the plate. Now the size will vary depending on how many people you're going to serve. Okay, so we're plated there. Now, you're saying, how is that Christmas? Well, already I got the green, now I got to add the red, and now I got to finish this up to make it really special. So I'm going to move this out of my way. And like I said, apple or pear. Okay, I got a red pear and a beautiful red honey crisp apple, Bartlett pear. What I did, and I'm going to do one each way. I took, the, I took the apple, I cut the apple, and then I sliced the apple. And I did the same with the pear. And what I would do next is, <clears throat> to make it look like a poinsettia flower, we arrange the apple on top of the salad. Like a flower. Now, if we're using a pear, same thing. Nice Bartlett, red Bartlett pear for the color of Christmas. Beautiful, like a flower. Then I take a couple of my cherries or cranberries from the mix, maybe a nut or two. Put it in the middle there. It looks like uh, the center of a beautiful flower. And before I put the cheese on, I clean up my plate nice, make sure everything's in line and in order. And then to finish it off, a piece of provolone. I have a little uh, cheese grater. You can use cheese or without cheese. You could use Reggiano, Pecorino. Uh, just taste the saltiness of the cheese, the age of the cheese. Make sure you don't overdo it. And what I do is just a few ribbons of cheese on the salad. to finish it off and then we do our final little touches and then I take a little bit of olive oil and I use my finger over the top and I drizzle a little olive oil on top and then I'm a pepper freak I like a little pepper and bingo Christmas salad Christmas escrow salad for as many people as you like you can fool around with the ingredients I think it's an excellent uh, plating. I think it looks very festive. It tastes absolutely delicious. Uh, serve it all holiday season, uh, through the holidays, Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's, New Year's Day. People will love it. It goes great with anything that you're going to serve. Thank you for listening. Thank you for stopping by. Victor Rallo Jr., your holiday escarole salad.